My name is Hugh, and this video we're going to talk about how to configure gas sampling valves. In the old days, this really wasn't necessary because the, the actuator, the thing that turns the gas sampling valve, this is called an actuator, it's a motor, and then something to control the motor. These kind of motors are called stepper motors. The older motors were different, they only did one thing, but these can be told to do a million things. So there's a, there's a circuit board here that, that controls all that, and sometimes, for just like a computer sometimes malfunctions, it's very rare, but it does happen. There's a way to kind of reset the, the computer logic. If the computer gets confused somehow, then you can kind of reset everything with this little button. Now, that, that's how it works on this particular type of valve, and this is what it looks like when it's mounted inside the GC. You can see it's, it's kind of crowded in there, but you can, you can push the button, and you have to hold the button in for three seconds, and then that tells it to go and um, reset everything. So watch what happens, and of course listen, there's a peculiar sound that happens when the motor is kind of hunting back and forth to feel where it should stop on this end and feel where it should stop on that end. And it does that by kind of sensing where it hits an obstacle. So here it goes, I'm gonna do the, the configuration by holding down the button for three seconds and see how it starts to flash now. And if you zoom in on this, you can hear the noise. So it goes like this for about 30 seconds, kind of rah, bonk, rah, bonk. And then it makes a couple of different sounding noises. I think it's almost done. Okay, I think it's done. So the, you would do this if the valve for some reason did not act normally or if you were to move the head of the valve so that it needed to figure out where the new stops were, it would be good to do this. But the way the valve act, acts normally is that if I, I'm connected from peak simple to the GC, so when I actuate relay G, the valve turns, right? And when I deactivate relay G, the valve turns the other way. Listen for the sound. I'm going to do it again. Okay, so it goes this way and that way. And that's, that's the kind of sound that these kind of valves make. Now, there's another kind of valve that is essentially very similar, but it's made by a different company called Valco. And it looks like this. Now, usually we, sometimes we use the Valco because it's got some advantage, and sometimes we use the AFP because it's got some advantage. So the, the way the Valco works is it's got this little brain box that's plugged in, right? So there's, there's power here plugged into the bottom of the valve, and then there's the brain box, and then there's the control wire from the GC, because really the GC controls the valve, but sometimes you want to do that manually, and sometimes if it loses its, its digital memory, you have to let it learn where the stops are too, and the way you do that is you... This is, this is the brain box, and it's got an up position, so it's going to position B, and then it's down to position A, and then it's got this home button. You hold that down for a few seconds, and then it comes up with a menu. So what, what you want to do here is, is valve setup. So you hit, okay, you hit home again, and then it wants to know, is it a two-position valve, which it is, or is it a multi-position valve, which it's, it's different if it is. These are just two positions, one way or the other. So you say yes, and then with stops, yes, because that's what we want it to do is figure out where the stops are on the valve. And then you hit OK, and then it goes through its little learning routine. It's a little louder, but that was quicker. Anyway, th this, is how you, this is how you configure it. If, if they lose their memory and they, they don't work, then the first thing to do is reconfigure and then see if it fixes the problem. So thank you very much. That's all on this subject.